Hello friends and welcome back to Book Girl. In today's video, we are going to actually be drawing on paper for once because um, something magical just came in the mail. And if you clicked on this video, you've probably seen the title and you know exactly what came in the mail. So why don't we just go ahead and review it? So here's the Amazon package, which I started opening and then I realized I should probably make a video about it. So I stopped opening, but that's why this thing looks all weird. So um, let's just open this up and get to the markers that are inside. So here are the two marker packs I got. I got the Ohu 60 pack of bullet and fine of bullet and chisel nib and then I got the spectrum noir skin tone pack because I looked through this and I read some reviews and apparently there aren't that many light skin tones so I just I got these as a backup and also spectrum noir markers get great reviews from all the youtubers that I watched that have reviewed them so that's good enough for me aside from these two because of course I had to get more stuff I got this Faber Castell brush pen fine liner some microns because mine are all dead and I've been using a ballpoint pen for the past month and some jelly rolls because I don't have any white highlight pens so yeah let's get to swatching all of these before we actually swatch them I just want to tell you guys the retail price I got these for these Ohu markers cost um $29.99 on Amazon these cost $14.99 on Amazon. These microns were $7.99 and this brush pen was five-ish dollars. And then the jelly rolls were five as well, which one pen, three pens, I don't know, but supposedly this is supposed to be like a super bougie pen, so <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so that's all the prices, all of them pretty reasonable. Yeah, let's actually get into the swatching part. If you've seen any of my older videos, you'll know that my primary experience with alcohol markers has been with master markers. And um, I'm just gonna tell you right now, if I were to choose between some $145 master markers, and this is only 80 markers that I got them in, don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Just just get some Ohus. I got my sister some Ohus for her birthday. They work great, and I use them more than she does. Hey, um, editing book girl here. Just to clarify, those markers I used in the video, those are actually my markers. The ones I was talking about that I gave my sister, I gave to her, like, three... La I gave to her last year, and yes, I did use them more than she did, but I finally got some of my own. So I didn't have to steal hers. Just wanted to <laughs> clarify that because I'm not using markers that were supposed to be for my sister. Promise. So yeah, let's just, um, here they are. They come in this nice little canvas bag thing so you can, you know, carry them around and keep them all nice and organized. Here are all the colors. They don't have any color names, which is a little weird. But they, they do have numbers, and they all... Barrel is, um... Not totally round, so that way they won't roll off your desk, which is very nice. And, um, tons of colors. Ooh, and it came with a blender. I did not know it came with a colorless blender, but... Why is that? Oh, it's clear! Look at that. Look, the blender bit is clear. Like the little thing where it has the number. That's, I've never seen that before on a marker. But yeah, 60 colors. Let's just do a quick swatch. Alright, here is all the Ohu colors, all 60 of them. They're all super bright and vibrant and smooth and stuff, as alcohol markers tend to be. And they actually worked pretty well on this non-marker paper sketchbook I have. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty great. None of them bled, well, I mean, they bled through, but they didn't bleed onto the other page, which is pretty nice. But if they do, then I've got this, an emergency little 
shieldy thingy. So there's all the Ohus. Very nice. I don't really understand the numbering system, and I know the entire swatch bit is a little wonky, but you, you get the picture. But otherwise, yeah, there they are. Let's get on to the Spectrum Noir skin tone pack. All right, so done swatching all the Spectrum Noir markers. All of them are nice and light. I've got a bunch of really great looking blush tones that I think I'll be able to use. Super smooth color. And again, these are the um, Spectrum Noir Classic markers, so they don't have a brush nib, which I actually don't really mind because I press, because um, I have a tendency to, you know, either A, kind of sort of destroy brush nibs or B, they just don't work out for me, but. Oh well, yeah, the bullet and the chisel nail will probably work pretty great for me. Yeah, Spectrum Noir is very nice. This whole barrel bit right here, no, it won't roll away at all. It, it, it can't, it just can't. But it's kind of chunky, like you see how this is uh, hexagonal. It's a little uncomfortable to hold, but you get used to it. And also the whole cap thing, there's only two ways it can fit on. So you just kind of sit there somewhat jamming the cap on until it's right. Which, I mean, I don't mind because I usually, you know, make a habit to look at my markers when I'm putting the caps back on. But that's just me. Overall, these are very, very nice markers. Totally worth the money. And a great alternative to Copic markers because so freaking expensive those things are. Yeah, all right, now we just gotta get to the pens, because this is just the markers. Yeah, all right, let's Reminder, do that. the three pens I got were these three Sakura Jelly Roll pens, which come in 0 0.5, 0 0.8, and 10 somethings, mil, mil, millimeters or something like that. I don't know, okay. Well, I mean, there's a really teeny one, there's a normal size one, and there's a nice thick one. I got these Microns, so... 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 5 millimeter should work. Well, like 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.5 millimeter should work pretty great. And finally, the crowning jewel, my fancy schmancy brush pen. It's a Faber Castell Pit Artist pen in black. It's got a nice felt brush nib, like so, if my camera would focus on it. Yep, nice. Fancy. I'll sure be using this one a lot because I like, I like thick line art. But yeah, so let's just get to, you know, putting these to the test. I'm not going to time lapse this since I don't really have a lot of pens and I thought I might as well talk you through the user experience of these. So... Just nice, dark black ink. You can do super fine lines, which is always a great thing about brush pens, or you can do thicker lines. The transition from thick to thin line is very smooth. Yeah, very, very enjoyable product to use. Next, Micron's pretty straightforward. They're just fine liners, but they are tried and true and basically every artist who uses markers ever has probably used one of these. Okay, so here's the point five, and can look at how tiny. Okay, my camera is not focusing, but it is so small. Like, wow. Okay. Dang, this has got to be the tiniest. That is such a small pen, though. <laughs> wow. 
super tiny, but it's a fine liner. It works as you'd expect a fine, fine liner to work. Next is the point two. Yeah, significantly larger than the last one. Again, just your classic fine liner. Nice dark ink. And this is these are apparently supposed to be fade resistant, so that's pretty nice. And then here's the point eight. Very, very thick. Like that's a thick fine liner tip. Whoa. All right, those are the microns. Next, everyone, what we've all been waiting for, the jelly rolls, because I've never used these before in my entire life. I'm just gonna grab a marker and put it down and we'll test them. And then point and then just the ten one. Whew. All right, moment of truth here, guys. gel pens but apparently like they're just gel pens but apparently they're supposed to work super great ton of ink plastic obviously all right so where's point five there we go whoa that goes down surprisingly well wow okay that's that's pretty opaque i mean you're probably enough to go over it a couple of times but that is very opaque next is the point eight This one definitely shows up a little better than the 0. 0.5. Again, it's, it's a gel pen. <laughs> uh, and then here is 0. 0.10, which I'm expecting to just be extremely, extremely white. Yep. This is probably going to be the one I end up using the most. So yeah, there's, there's all my stuff. Swatched. Now we actually have to draw something. <laughs> all right. Um, before I do anything, just to prove to you guys, I actually do remember how to draw on paper. Let's just <laughs> go through this real quick because, yeah. I haven't done the front cover yet. Here's one of my OCs, another OC. You can see these two on my Instagram. It's at bookgirl995 because I, I just got Instagram. So you can see some of my digital art I haven't put on my YouTube channel yet. Uh, this is just some of my other OCs and I tried to do a cute little sketchbook page, but I failed miserably. Uh, this is my favorite drawing so far. Ignore these two because they're bad, but this one, this one looks pretty good and I stole my sister's Oh, who's so that's probably why it looks better than these which that's surprising because I used only Copics for that and then here's another page of this is this is my OC Cal but I switched up his outfit and this is Camden who you've probably seen and yeah so that's everything blank page let's actually draw something <laughs>
just finished my sketch guys this is my oc maven she's in the same like universe sort of thing going on as cal and aster from the whole little teeny sketchbook tour i did uh so sketch just you know kind of a concept pose thing let's get into it Line art's done. I just ended up using the O2 Micron. It worked amazingly. And yeah, so all we gotta do now is color it and I'll be done. Let's do that. So I didn't forget how to do traditional art and I'm actually, I really like this drawing. I mean, <laughs> these feet have something to be improved upon, but the rest of it just like, ah, look, it actually kind of looks decent and it's traditional art and I'm just really proud of myself. So yeah, guys, this is Maven. She's in the same universe as Cal and Aster. And just look at it, these highlights, I've never done dot highlights like that and they actually like, they kind of work. Oh my gosh. And actual decent markers make such a difference. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, just, ah, look, look. I'm so happy with these. And even though I didn't end up using these, I sure will in my next few drawings, which I have, if you want to see them, just check out my Instagram, guys. Just check it out. Won't hurt you. Um, yeah, here's Maven. Super proud. Thanks yeah. so much for watching today's video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my Instagram if you want to. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Bye.